Here's a super disturbing story from The Guardian. Credit to them for finding all this out. Black activist jailed for his Facebook posts speaks out about secret FBI surveillance. Exclusive Rakim Balogun spoke out against police brutality. Now he is believed to be the first prosecuted under a secretive U.S. effort to track so-called black identity extremists. So there are uh, multiple parts of this story that are just mind-boggling. Let me show you the important part here. They say, Balogun who was working full-time for an IT company when he was arrested, has long been an activist, co-founding Guerrilla Mainframe and the Huey P. Newton Gun Club, two groups fighting police brutality and advocating for the rights of black gun owners. Some of the work included coordinating meals for the homeless, youth picnics, and self-defense classes. But that's not what interested the FBI. Investigators began monitoring Balogun, whose legal name is Christopher Daniels, after he participated in an Austin, Texas rally in March 2015, protesting against law enforcement. A special, a special agent, Aaron uh, Cayley, testified in court. The FBI, Cayley said, learned of the protest from a video on Infowars, a far-right site run by the commentator Alex Jones, known for spreading false news and conspiracy theories. The reference to InfoWars stunned Balogun. They're using a conspiracy theorist video as a reason to justify their tyranny? That is a big insult. Kaylee made no mention of Balogun's specific actions at the rally, but noted the marcher's anti-police statements, such as oink oink bang bang and the only good pig is a pig that's dead. The agent also mentioned Balogun's Facebook posts, calling a murder suspect in a police officer's death a hero and expressing solidarity with the man who killed officers in Texas when he posted, they deserve what they got. Kaylee, however, later admitted uh, the FBI had no evidence of Balogun making any specific threats about harming people. At the time of his Facebook post, Balogun said he was angry and venting about the high-profile cases of police killing innocent black men and women in America, including Alton Sterling and Philando Castile. So this is fucking fascinating. So you have a black uh, activist here, and, you know, he, uh, on top of feeding the homeless, he also teaches self-defense, and he's in favor of black gun rights. So you know how we recently spoke about Killer Mike, and he did that interview with the NRA, and there was a big backlash over that? Well, Killer Mike is of the belief that, hey... You know, black people have lived under virtual occupation in this country for a long time. There was slavery, then there was segregation, um, you know, and now there's the new Jim Crow, they say, which is the drug war be targeting black people specifically and minorities specifically, more so than white people, and it's used to crack down on minority populations that they want to control. So the idea is, well, we're not going to give up our fucking guns because we need it for self-defense. That's the philosophy uh, of these kinds of groups. So... The FBI learned from watching an InfoWars video about this gathering, and then there were, there were chants at the gathering that are certainly not politically correct. <laughs> and let me be clear, I don't agree with those chants. The oink, oink, bang, bang, the only good pig is a dead pig. Um, those are not direct threats of violence, but they're threats of violence. You know, the idea of, like, we'll kill cops. Not advisable. Don't fucking say that. Now, however, the only speech that's illegal under uh, U.S. law, and this is the way it should be, is libel, slander, and direct threats of violence. Well, a direct threat of violence is like, you know, I'm going to kill you, and I know your address is blah, 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 and I will be there at 5 o'clock tonight or whatever the fuck. So direct threats of violence are not allowed. They're not allowed under the law. That's illegal. They didn't do a direct threat of violence. Not only did he not do a direct threat of violence, the FBI admitted, well, no, he didn't do a direct threat of violence. He, they just had those politically incorrect chants. So, let's be clear. They're, they're targeting this guy for political reasons. They learned about him through Infowars. They don't like his politics. And so they're cracking down on him and they're... They arrested him over the chance at the rally and the Facebook posts. So come on, man. 
See, this, okay, how many times have I made this point in other contexts? How many times have we seen fucking neo-Nazi rallies, and I've gone, listen, man, all of us disagree with what they're saying. That's a given. If you're a reasonable human being, you disagree with what they say. But at the same time, they're legally allowed to do that. They're legally, that's what free speech is about. Free speech protections aren't there so that when you say, I love mother and apple pies are delicious and rainbows are pretty, that they just protect that speech. Because if that was the, that speech never needs protection because nobody's objecting to it. So free, free speech protections are specifically there for politically incorrect things that oftentimes are outrageous and oftentimes are genuinely hateful. So, uh, you know, is it fair to call this guy an anti-cop bigot? Yeah, I'm fine calling him that. It seems to me like he is against all cops, not just bad cops. And I, that's not a notion I agree with. I just don't. But at the same time, he has every right to say those things. There was no direct threat of violence. The FBI admits there's no direct threat of violence. So now, here's the time where I come out here and I say, Hey, free speech warriors on the right, where the fuck are you? Where are you? There's been this whole industry created of people who are on the right who act like the main issue they care about is free speech. But what's fascinating about them is they never happen to come out and defend the free speech of the people they disagree with. See, that's the point, man. I don't care. It's so easy to defend the free speech of people you agree with. That's so easy. Anybody can do that. Hey, I agree with the guy. Therefore, they should be allowed to say what they said. Wow, brave. The real test of whether or not you're principled is if you're willing to go out there and defend when you don't agree with the shit the person is saying. So for all the people on the right, if you really care about this issue, go out there and mention, hey, here's a guy who's advocating for black gun rights. Here's a guy who has said some genuinely anti-police things. But... He should be allowed to say it, and they shouldn't bust down his door, and they shouldn't drag him out in handcuffs, because guess what? Mean Facebook posts are not against the law. Chanting oink oink bang bang, even though it's definitely politically incorrect and ugly, that ain't against the law either. Venting and saying, hey, they got what they deserved when a cop dies, that may be a gross thing to say. I agree, it's gross. It ain't illegal, motherfucker. It's not illegal. So, I want to hear all those free speech warriors on the right come out and defend this guy. By the way, this isn't the only instance of a crackdown from the Trump administration on free speech. We have another example of it. There's a comedian who joked on Twitter about killing ICE agents. Now, do I think the joke was funny? No. It's not remotely funny to me. I didn't laugh for a second. I, does that mean I like ICE? No, I don't like ICE. I despise ICE. I think they're terrible. Uh, immigrations and custom enforcement, for those of you who don't know. They're the people who go round up uh, immigrants and ship them out, basically. And there's been cases of them going into a hospital where somebody's being treated for a brain tumor and dragging, out, dragging them out and kicking them out of the country. So they're not a good group of people. But these... But there was a comedian who joked about killing them, and it was clear it was a joke. It wasn't, like, up in the air. It was obviously in the context of a joke. And he got a, a visit from Department of Homeland Security. So, okay, there's an issue of free speech, and they're coming and cracking down on people for making jokes, cracking down on people for saying mean things about police officers. All of this is legal. All of it is legal. All of it is legal. So, uh, how about we actually have some free speech warriors out there who are consistent, who will defend people, even people they disagree with. So, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for people to come out f uh, from the right and say they agree with Rakim Balogun and he shouldn't be persecuted like this. I won't hold my breath.